Welcome to the Soap Bible Study Series from Oak Tree Community Church in South Bend, Indiana. We're working our way through the book of Job, and uh, this week we come about to the third third of the way through it. Yeah. And we're in chapters 15, 15. 16, yep. and 17, and we're starting another round. <laughs> it's yeah. round yes, two. we are. <laughs> yes, we are. And, and we know to this point, Job has lost everything. Yeah. Uh, he still has his wife. And three friends come, mm-hmm. and like you were saying, in the first round, each one talks to talks to Job, and delivers you know a chapter or two. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> and then Job replies. Yeah, and it's like whew, finally we're done with this round. Well, now we're on the second round, <laughs> and there's going to be a third one coming. Yeah, out. They, they, right. these guys don't stop, <clears throat> but they they are coming at it from. You know, each one of them is coming at it from a little bit different angle, yeah, exactly. right? A little different perspective. Uh, Eliphaz uses more of a, uh, a human experience and uh, sort of like this is what I've seen, and and don't you know? I mean, everybody knows this, right? Yep, yep. And and then Bildad comes from more uh, tradition or history. Yeah. And then the last one, Zophar, maybe more um, intuition or wisdom. Wisdom, right? logic, reason. Come on, yeah. think with me about this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So those are kind of the different directions. Yeah. But they're all saying the same thing. Yeah. And, and you sinned. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and and let me say, none of those is bad. When you're, right. In fact, all three of them can be very, very good when you're trying to wrestle through a situation. You know, what do we know is true? How have we experienced this before? What have past generations told us about, you know, whatever? What can we learn from others so that we're not reinventing the wheel? So that's how they're trying to help. But their conclusion is... Well, their conclusion is God punishes sin. Yeah. Um, Which is not wrong. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. But then the application that you've been saying, okay, you have been punished. That means you have sinned. Yeah. And and Job keeps saying, God, I, I... I don't believe I have. Yeah. Let's figure out where. <laughs> and if I have, fine. Yeah. And if not, I, I'd like some other answers. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a good a good point just to remind people of, of you know how we think through things. You know, if uh, if you start with a good premise, mm-hmm. you can come to a faulty conclusion, which is what they did. Right. Right. But it's really hard to come to a right conclusion if your premise is wrong. That's why it's so important that we make sure, you know, we understand the Bible, we understand how things are going on. We want to start with the right foundation because there's a better chance we're going to get to the right conclusion. Now, in their case, they jumped the shark. I mean, they're just like... Well, guys, they want to fix it, right? Hey, just repent and let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. And his question is, fine, show me where I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so so Eliphaz gives his second speech and it's like it's gonna be something different. It's a lot of the same, <laughs> right? So just louder. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, in the first one, he shows some compassion. This one, not so much. Yeah, right. And it's like oh, the not, not necessarily the gloves are coming off, but they've been at it a while. Yeah, and and it makes just me, confess. Yeah, it Jeez. makes me think. You know, um, of course, this is written in in poetic style and and uh you know we'll keep coming back to to this fact a little bit but um i mean this is not how it was this is not exactly how it took place right this is written after the fact this is not you know they didn't you know oh you know this is you know it's not it's not shakespeare they're still not sitting in the fire on day one (laughs) yeah yeah there's some time has passed um and and i wonder it made me it made me wonder what were their interactions like previously you know, is Eliphaz yeah. always the, come on guys, we know that, you know, we've been through this before. Yeah. Is Zophar always the guy, let's think through this. Is Bildad always the guy looking, the well, what did they, yeah. you know. Uh, so is this their normal interactions? Because it seems like, especially as we get to round two, it seems like they're almost shocked that Job is pushing back. It's like they came in here, they dumped, maybe they met up ahead of time and said, I mean, it's obvious what happened, you know. Right. So here's what happens, Job, and they expected him to just roll over. Yeah. And he didn't. He pushed back, and now they're just like, oh, well, but you're a jerk, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know? 
Yeah, maybe. So, so I, I kind of see it a couple different ways. Um, these are guys who are the richest in quote their own territories. Probably, yeah. So they're they're used to be saying things and people just agreeing with them. <laughs> Um, I mean, as, ba- as bad as that is, no, they're, they're the elders, so they're used to making the decisions that, you know, this is the way, this is the way it should be. Yeah. Um, but now they have one of the peers, and like you said, the peers pushing back, that probably doesn't happen too much. Yeah. And so, so it's it might be some difference, and it might also be the first time where. Um, up to the, up to this point, I'm sure they had to come to the conclusion: I'm rich because God loves me. I must be doing good things because I keep getting richer. Yeah, uh, which is an e- easy path to go down. Yeah, and now their friend is th- throwing a lot of question marks on how the world works. Yeah, yeah, and he's answered. What's what's interesting is he's answered every one of these. Okay, I know this is what experience says. Yeah. But this is not what but, I'm living but right now. Look at what I'm living. Yeah. yeah. So how is, am I here? Yep. I understand this is what logic and reason and everything says. But what if that's not the end of it? Yeah. You know. But now they start to get, and I've used this term I think in the last couple of weeks. They start to get accusatory. Uh, we'll see this in in these upcoming rounds. I mean, Eliphaz. Are like, you the first man ever born? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Have, <laughs> Are, were you in God's secret council? Uh, you know, are <laughs> God's consolations <laughs> too yeah. trivial for you? It's like, whoa, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> chill out a little bit. And man. I know we're making fun of it, um, it's, but it's almost so serious you kind of have to. Yeah, right? there there needs to be a little bit of levity. Well, and part of it here. is because we know the end of the story. Yeah. We have to remember they didn't know the end of the story. Yeah. They were right in the middle of it, and and these guys were sincere. They desperately. You know, everybody, when they talk about Job's friends, they always put friends in quotes, right? Oh, these guys couldn't be his friends. Yeah, right. No, his wife loved him and wanted him to die instead of live through this, if this was going to be his life. His yeah. friends are just like, something has to be fixed here. Why don't we just fix it? You yep. know, everybody is pushing him yeah. toward... Towards trying to help. help. The problem is yeah. they're pushing... <laughs> everybody's pushing in a different direction. Yeah. Yeah, so so we have Eliphaz basically saying the same thing. In fact, I made a note that said, so what's so different here? Yeah. And then in chapter 16, Job starts with, I've heard this before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? What <laughs> actually miserable. Said, <laughs> you guys are a bunch of mis. If you're here to help, <laughs> you well, guys Miserable suck. comforters you <laughs> are. Yeah, you're, totally you're not really good at this, are you? <laughs> yeah, if I was in your place, I would... Try to back me up. Which is really interesting because uh, I think it was just a couple of weeks ago, we said, um, uh, one of these guys said, if I was in your place, I think it was Eliphaz, if I was in your place, I would just confess right away. Yeah. And Job's like, I've confessed. There's nothing left to confess, right? And now Job has flipped it back yeah. on him. If I were in your place, I'd yeah. be helpful. Well, and I, I, and I do think that's part of the sarcasm that, they, that they're that they beating each other up yeah. with. Yeah, and then Job seems to finally, or not finally, uh, but he kind of ignores <laughs> ignores them Has and to. starts talking to God again. Yeah, yeah, yep. So, Which I really like because this yeah. is Job's pattern. He yeah. responds to them, and then he's just like, "I'm done with you," and he goes back to God. Because don't forget that he does not have anywhere else in his apparently in his theology another bad player that could be doing this. This right. has to be from God. And so God right. is where he's going back. Right. And and he wants an advocate. Yeah. Right. Somebody somebody that can go between him and God and and help relieve some of the pressure so he can he keeps talking about breathing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think we've all been there when that terrible thing happens in our lives. It is a uh, you know, yep. kind of a kind of a can't breathe thing. So. I, I love I love you mentioned the advocate in chapter sixteen, verses nineteen and twenty. He's talking about even now my witness is in heaven, my advocate is on high. So, so he's looking for somebody not on earth yeah. to stand between him yeah, and somebody God. Somebody to go to God. Which we're talking. Hey, we got a guy down here. Yeah, <laughs> four thousand years ago, he's looking for somebody from heaven to be our mediator, our advocate. And I, I just really, of course, being just, on this side yeah. of things, I yeah. really love. Well, and 
you obviously go to Jesus. Of course. Right. I mean, right. he is yeah. the only yeah. mediator. But, uh, yeah, just very cool. Yeah. Um, and he ends with, don't cover my blood here on earth. Leave it so I can get my questions answered. Yeah. Uh, you know, so he, in uh, chapter 17, he continues to lament. I mean, people aren't helping him. And, and he finally come, you know, comes to the conclusion, um, the only thing I can look forward to is dying. Yeah. And much like last week and the week before, it's just this is the pattern Yeah, uh, that, that goes in here. And yet, even as much as he hopes for death, he wishes for death, he wishes he was never born, nowhere in here does he try to kill himself. Right. Nowhere in here does he ask his friends, you know, let's go through this nice ritual, help me die. If somebody's going to kill me, it's going to be God. And if he won't do it, then I want an answer. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a pretty bold place to be. Right. But it, it seems well, it's to kind me. of where he's at. Everything else has been taken away from him. Yeah, well, his wife hasn't. I, yeah, we keep saying that. But yeah, right, well, and a couple of that. servants. I mean, he. Right. I mean, he still has. He still has his home. He still has all this, except that he's been kicked out of it. I mean, he, you know, he's yeah. sort of. He's away from. He hasn't l lost everything in that his wife is destitute and everything. You know. Right. Um, but I, the the fact that he keeps going back to God, even in rage. I think God's okay with God is big enough I, to handle. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, I mean, yelling at God, uh, you know, sounds terrible, but yeah, he can he can handle it. it. It's I think it's the attitude of how we do it. Are we doing it just in rage? Is it at I hate you? Is I I don't find that anywhere yeah, in here. No, I find it as a, why aren't you listening to me? Why aren't you responding to me? Where did you go? I need you. And. Uh, you know, sort of yelling at him in faith, almost. <laughs> yeah, no, it, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it seems like a weird combination. No, it there, is but... true, right? Because um, he's acknowledged that God is who he believes God is, who God is. Um, that he can take him out at any time. I can't stand in front of you. Yep. Um, I, I, I can't debate you. I'm not stronger than you. Right. You know, he he has this this whole list, yep. uh, and I. And I can't continue to stand here because yeah. you're killing me. Yeah, it, it's amazing that it hasn't shaken his faith in who he knows God to be. Right. It's just shaken maybe his faith in how he thought God worked. And those are two different things. Sometimes yeah. I think we confuse those, and those are two different things. Well, and, and it goes to, I think, the where we started with um, many, many weeks ago now, uh, the whole concept of... When bad things happen to a good person, what does that do to that person? Yeah. You know, could, does that person um, run away from God? Or does that person say, God isn't who I thought he was, so I'm going to go find some other God who is who I think they are. Yeah. Uh, and and he's not running away. Yeah. You know, he's still talking to the God. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think that's about it for this week. Yeah, it's, there's not there's not really a lot, but I hope really that it is. I mean, it's obviously we read through this and it's depressing, right? There's there's you can't get yeah. away from the depressing part of it, but I hope it's also encouraging because we can see Job as a pattern or as a model of how do we yell at God? How do we <laughs> how do how do we approach God and and others? You know, Maybe that's a, better. The, how do we approach, approach God, God versus, right? <laughs> versus yelling at God? You know, but is it okay to be angry? When we don't know now, we're going to get to the end, and I'll just tell you now, we're going to get to the end, and Job will have to repent for something. You know, those first couple of chapters, Job didn't sin with his mouth or whatever. Okay, that's the first couple of chapters. He yeah. will repent for something. So he's not doing everything right, but he, in fact, is doing a whole lot better than his friends are. And so we're going to see that dynamic. Uh, play out we've still got several speeches to go through but hopefully it's encouraging to <laughs> yeah. see how job in, even in his uh, desperation keeps going back to god uh, even if god is choosing not to respond at this point maybe you're going through something similar uh, and you just need someone to say it's okay to yell at god a little bit <clears throat> he's big enough to handle it just do it with the right attitude the right motive and um, uh, i think i think that's okay and if it's not okay, then I guess he'll deal with me about that for telling you that that's okay. But I think it is. So 
Share it with your friends and family, and maybe they're going through something similar, and we will continue our trek through the book of Job next time, and uh, eventually we'll get through it, and it really will be good. I promise. Bye, everybody.